welcome we ask you to share this video with all your contacts and let us uh, work together The title we want to discuss is Time We Know Who is Hidden in Thailand. Let us uh, repeat a few uh, parameters. One, humans who migrated into East Asia were melanin dominant people. They came from Africa where there is proof that 2.8 billion years ago they had emerged. Europeans developed pale skin 8,500 years ago prior to that. They were a darker race. The last parameter now is clearly the question of the color of Southeast Asians. Where did it come from? Before we answer this, we would like to invite you to watch one of our videos, Indigenous Japanese Were They Africans, where the evidence for the first three parameters is clearly supplied and given. That East Asians, they indeed came from Africa, is based on molecular biological evidence or genetics. You can get this uh, from nature uh, reviews. You can see the movement of genes across the whole planet coming from a large pool in ancient Africa. If you consider phenotypes alone or blood alone as our ancestors uh, taught us to recognize who is our relative, you realize that geographic limits are removed and dissolved and what becomes our guide will be the skin color in its all use and ranges this is also another proof east asians uh, their skin is almost all african it's a tint of african uh, skin this is a a muntu uh, a member of the basarwa tribe found in botswana and Motswana, and uh, this are some of the Thai tribes today. There are also cultural similarities that are practiced and it's not coincidental. You can see here the current tribal beauty ideas uh, that goes along with the long neck in the villages in Thailand. Same thing with Ndebele women in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. The current tribe are wearing brass necklaces which elongate their necks. Uh, same thing in Myanmar. Interestingly, exactly what is happening with our own Bantu uh, women it cannot be a coincidence these people came from us straightforward you can look at that and look at them uh, something has happened which we are going to illustrate here although thailand adopted the united nations declaration on the rights of indigenous peoples it does not officially recognize the existence of indigenous uh, peoples in that country you can get this from this website uh iwgia international work group for indigenous affairs none of the Thailand's previous constitutions, which are many, or any form of legislation, recognizes or even mentions indigenous peoples, or Chon Pao Kyun Myung in Thai. It is recognized that they are people from ethnic groups, Chatifan, in Thailand, but without distinguishing them in terms of rights and responsibilities or origins. Why? Because once they do that, they have to display the indigenous people in Thailand. And uh, the indigenous people do not look like the modern people found there since they are descendants of colonizers and invaders. This is the major reason why now it is the time we know what is hidden in Thailand. Let us bring one of the greatest sports personalities to demonstrate this great identity Confusion that has been created deliberately to fudge the truth. This is the man, uh, Tiger Woods, is 1998 between his parents, Kultida and Earl. Woods described himself, this is his identity, as a Cablinesian, a word he made up during childhood to try to capture and convey his multiracial racial heritage. Of course, it's multiracial, you will see why. Woods' mother, Kultida is a native of Thailand. Think about that. Think of what we have said. Think of the images we have shown. Whose own ancestry includes Chinese and the Dutch. So, includes 
African, Chinese, which is Mongol, as well as European. But remember, we said Europeans became lighter recently, only 8,000 years ago, while this humanity began 2.8 billion years ago. She once referred to herself as half Thai, one quarter Chinese, and one quarter white. Wood's father, Earl, was an African American whose heritage include white, Asian, and Native American ancestors. Earl Woods once called himself half black, one quarter American Indian, and one quarter Chinese. This is no wonder our brother has no encourage in terms of identity. And it is the ancient indigenous Thai whose history is quietly being hidden and quietly being wiped off the brains of a lot of people as well as books of history. But who are these first Thai people? Are they the real ancient people or not? A brief history of Thai. We have to understand this history in terms of the four parameters that we have already focused on. Excavations of settlements from the Bronze Age at Ban Chiang uncovered ancient earthware and ceramics believed to date around 3000 BC and continuing until about 200 AD. So this fits exactly with the migration of the Chinese Huamong Miao diaspora from the Zhuo. Once you see the word Zhou or Zhu, it's African. It's Zhou. Word for the elephant. That is the totem that they went here and gave themselves. The Mon, the Kama, the Thai tribes later migrated from southern China. Presently, the Mon are settled in Myanmar, here, yeah, as well as uh, Cambodia, while the Thai set up uh, their city states in Thailand. So, the migrations of the Thai people who originally lived in southwestern China into mainland Southeast Asia over a period of many centuries occurred. And these are the people that eventually settled in uh, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, and many, many others, including Thailand, Vietnam, including Thailand, and many other places. An inscription that is found on the Kama Temple complex of Angkor Wat in Cambodia refers to Siam, and Siam was one name for Thailand, Siam, as a vassal of the Kama monarch, described the, as dark brown people. That's what Siam means. That's why they changed the name Siam to Thailand. Because once they used, continued to use the name Siam, people who do know it means dark brown or Bantus. Quite, quite, quite obvious. So Southeast Asia was already at that time teeming with people 70,000 years prior. Who are these people? Because we know now they are the Siam, they are dark brown. Once we say dark brown, it means that they were Bantus or melanin dominant human beings. Can we find them in Thailand today? Yes, they are being hidden from a lot of our eyes. These are the people. Yes, it's time to know who is being hidden in Thailand. They are the Mani, the descendants of the original people of Thailand. The Mani lived uh, in the hilly countries, interior of southern Thailand, for thousands of years. For the last several thousand years, at least, they have done so in a close association with other succession people that have arrived there. The Vedoid from India, the Mon Kama from uh, Vietnam, the Indian, the Malay, the Mongoloid, and other groups, although the money do not seem to have intermarried much with outsiders. That's why today we still be, are able to say they were Bantus. Because they were despised by these Mongols. It is for Twitter. It is a divine spiritual intervention so that we can be able today to learn and to find our own Bantu brothers in this land. Imagine if they were all wiped out through intermarriages. We will have other brothers call other black people foreigners who they would think they oh no it's nothing like that so we have to thank the ancestors for preserving these people so that today we can be able to know and to learn what happened to our brothers who left the homeland and everything is quite clear there they are the original time this is a money uh, 800 ad 800 ad from 70,000 years ago to 800 AD. And there again, today, today, 2021. Uh, there is the Moni Thailand, 500 AD. There again, looks like one of our ancient 
uh, rulers in Hamid, Mo, there. This is in Thailand. There, more of them. There is Bodhisattva, uh, Maitreya, Thailand, 800 AD. This is from Pinterest, Mon, Dvarati, Dravati, Green Limestone, head of the Buddha, 8th century. There's Buddha, Shakyamuni, 800 AD. It's, it's quite, quite straight that uh, what we are discovering here is clear. Modern Thai people, the descendants of the light-skinned Chinese invaders, the Mongols, currently ruling Thailand, look like this. This is what you will see. These are not indigenous. And these are the ones that are not hidden from us. But these are the, this is the public image portrayed for Thailand. Here is who is hidden in Thailand. It's the Muntu. The descendant of the Muntu. Our brothers and our sisters. Our own bloody cousins. Here they are. It's time we unite. It's time we work together. There they are. More of them hidden. This is an old photo which was taken in 1898 in Lampang, Northern Thailand. A man reclines his head on a triangle pillow, which is known as the Thai pillow. Again, there is one of the rarely promoted images. These are the descendants of the original Thais, the Bantus, or melanin dominant human. Again, foreign Chinese political powers control Thailand today. And one of their greatest arm is the royal ruling family. The present Thai royal family, the Chakri dynasty was founded by King Rama, who himself was Chinese. And here is a Chinese. According to Chen Rui, a Chinese officer sent from Khartoum to report on the fall of Ayuda in 1768, King Tas Xin here was born Xin of no renowned lineage in Ayudhya. His father, Tao Yong, was a Teochi immigrant from Chenghai County in Guadong province. It's Chinese. There is no two ways about it. After reclaiming Ayuda, King Taksin sent several tribute mission to China seeking royal investiture. In his letter to the Queen Long Emperor, Taksin called himself Zheng Zhao, using his Chinese clan's name. Zheng and Zhao for the Thai word, Xiao meaning ruler. So when they say Thailand has never been colonized, they are totally lying. It's a historical lie. He's the prime minister, kind of prime minister of uh, Thailand. Does he look like a Muntu? No. No. Not at all. So what's the whole purpose of all this? Thailand was formerly a full melanin dominant country, which was invaded by Mongols who used war and at times migration. And today they are using trade we must learn from history they are offering loans to africa for a purpose it's not that they love africans it's not that they want to develop africa no look at what happened in southeast asia their next step is establishing royalties in africa and africans are already giving them opportunity and room to do that they're installing chinese as chiefs in Africa, giving them titles and uh, allowing them to be members of parliament in South Africa and in Nigeria. Eventually, their tactic is to wipe us out and our sisters are not doing any better. Our brothers are not doing any better. Chinese men are impregnating and uh, creating mulattoes. It's the same tactic. No difference everywhere where they've gone. They've used the same tactics. And if we do not learn from history, we will become victims of history. This is our inheritance. Marifan. Faneuti statili fale. Narachagi. Ihe inketa anyi. Kutora naka yedu. All over the earth. Subscribe to our channel. Hamiti Buru Ethics. Send us an email on join at marifado.com. This is Peter Rabbi L.M. Dwizulu saying, Till we meet again, remember, we are the melanin dominant people of the earth have a good day